Talia, welcome back to my channel. So if you guys are new, then definitely hit the subscribe button so that you will be notified when I put out new videos if you guys would be interested. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a DIY back to school supplies. And I really tried to make these all unique and things that I just like came up with by myself and not things that I found on Pinterest, even though Pinterest is bae and I just love Pinterest. So it was really hard for me not to like go on there and get all my ideas but I try to do them all myself, so I hope you guys will appreciate that and like my ideas. And some of these are like a little bit more like weird, I guess. Not really that weird, but they're just like a little bit out there. And definitely something that you can't find in stores, so I really hope you guys like this video. But yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy, and let's go ahead and get on into the DIY. Everybody gets high. So all you'll need for this DIY will be a plain notebook, a glue gun, a piece of fake fur, as well as pillow stuffing. So take a deep breath and let it go. So the first thing you want to do is measure out your fur so that it matches perfectly with the front of the notebook. And then you just want to take your glue gun and then just glue it all on. And I did mine section by section so, so that the glue wouldn't dry so fast. So just continue doing that, but then make sure you leave one section open so that we have room to stuff our stuffing in. And then you can go ahead and add in your stuffing. I didn't put too much in just so it wouldn't be like super, you know, super big, but you can put as much or as little as you want in it. And then just seal it up with some more glue and there you have it, your very own pillow notebook. You are welcome. And So next we're going to be making this old school Disney collage notebook and I used to do this all the time when I was younger just making collage notebooks. Let me know if you guys ever did that like make collage notebooks. I think it was like a thing when I was younger but anyways. So I saved all of these calendar pages from a few years back because I couldn't throw them away because they were just too cute and I knew I could use them for a DIY. So that's what I did. I just cut up all of my favorite ones that I had. And I just kind of arranged it so that every piece of the notebook was covering. And I did a mixture of actually cutting out the character as well as just leaving the whole background in. And I think that made for a more interesting layout and it just gave more depth and I don't know, it just made it look cuter, I guess. So yeah, I'm just continuing doing that. And by the way, I'm using Mod Podge. I don't think I mentioned that. I don't know, this like totally brings me back to my childhood. I love it. Then once you're finished gluing everything down, you can go ahead and take your Mod Podge and do another layer of that on top so that it seals everything in. Then I just decided to take some washi tape and put that over the spine so that it just gave a little bit more of a completed look, but this is totally up to you. Now question of the day, what is your favorite Disney movie? Mine was definitely Lion King, I think it still is, I love the Lion King. But let me know in the comments. Next, we're making this really cute travel-inspired notebook. So all you'll need will be a notebook and some Mod Podge again. And then I just found this map scrapbook paper at Hobby Lobby, so I just Mod Podge that on top of the front and trimmed the edges. And I also found this really cute sticker at Michael's, so I just went ahead and stuck it on the front, and I think it's super cute, and it just screams travel to me, and I just love traveling. So this is everything in a notebook. And I had two of those scrapbook papers, so I decided to put one on the back as well, so I just Mod Podge that on. And there you go, you have your travel-inspired notebook. And this one also goes along with the whole travel theme, and this one is totally not a DIY, like hardly at all. But I just wanted to show you that you can find really cute scrapbook paper at your craft stores and just cut it up and put it in a notebook because it just totally gives a new life to it. And I found this really cute one that was like gold leafed and I just had all these different patterns in it. And I just did the same thing for the back and the side of the notebook. I just put in my favorite scrapbook paper that kind of went along with the front. So if you have a boring binder, definitely go to the scrapbook section and look for cute paper because it will totally change up the way it looks and it'll be super cute. <laughs> So this last one I'm going to be kind of doing the same thing that I've been doing with all my other ones. I'm going to be using Mod Podge and just sticking down some scrapbook paper and I did that on the front as well as the back. Then I'm just taking this chalkboard thing, mine was like paper but I know they have a bunch of stickers like this and I'm just writing in the subject that I 
don't really have, but I just did it for this video. And excuse my writing, my writing is like horrible, I hate it. Then I'm just tracing out this sticky foam paper and I got mine at Michael's, but you can get them at pretty much anywhere I think. And they come in all different colors, which is awesome. But I just chose this like sparkly white one. Then I just flipped that over and traced out my hexagon mirror. I'm super into hexagons at the moment, but if you want, you can do like a circle mirror or whatever one you want. And then I'm taking my X-Acto knife and cutting it out. Staring at two different views on your so then you can just simply peel off the backing and stick it on your notebook. Coffee is gone cold, it's like time from then I just took off everything that was on the back of the mirror already and then I just took some E6000 and put a bunch on the back and then just stuck it on the notebook. Then I wanted to decorate it a little more so I took these rhinestones and kind of outlined the edge of the mirror so that it frames it nicely. And then I just took some more rhinestones because I don't know, I guess I like rhinestones now, <laughs> but I just placed them all around the whole notebook. So I don't know, it kind of gives off like a mermaid vibe. Anybody else? I don't know, it kind of reminds me of a mermaid. I'm not sure why, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's basically all you do. You can obviously decorate it with anything you want, but I think this is kind of cool because then you have a mirror on hand at all times if you're in school. <laughs> So after lunch, if you feel like you have something in your teeth, you can always take out your notebook and check. So there you go. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know which one was your favorite. It's down below in the comments. My favorite was definitely the pillow notebook because I feel like I would definitely use it in school. Like there were so many instances in school where I was like, I wish I had a pillow. My arm is just like not cutting it, you know what I mean? And also don't forget to check out my last back to school video, which was a DIY tumbler clothes. So yeah, definitely check that one out. It will be linked below as well as the end of the video. And also don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. I will have all the links down below. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Peace. Bye.